9,000 lunges or an unpaid interview with Ariel Hawani? <laughs> <laughs> 9,000 lunges. <laughs> Oh. No, you're a one of one, that's why. That's how we roll. Hi, my name is Nina and I'm here with... Paddy the Paddy Pimley. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Great. Question, why do you think your account gets shut down all the time? Because <sighs> I tell it how it is, you know what I mean? People don't like the truth. And you can't even say nothing back to no one on it nowadays. And Zuckerberg got it in for me, defo. Do I want to fight Mark Zuckerberg? Lad, I'm going to punch your head in. I'm sick of you, lad. You know what I mean? Sick of you. Shut my Instagram accounts down. Got it in for me after I called him out in the cage. <laughs> Do you think... <laughs> defo. Uh, you think you guys can, like, rekindle... Uh, like rekindle your friendship and maybe they I can don't know. I've never met him, so we'll see if we ever do meet him at a UFC or anything. I need to go to a grappling show, he's competing at and heckle him. Oh, maybe you can do King of the Mat with him. Wouldn't last very long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, would you ever consider sorcery? Yeah, if it was real. You don't think ma like sorcery is real? Like magic? Wizards? No, it's all an illusion. You know what I mean? So, if it was real, yeah, I'd love to cast spells on a certain few people. It would be great. What about voodoo? Yeah, I reckon voodoo's a load of bollocks as well. <laughs> I mean, if I, if, if I could get a voodoo doll on a few helmets, then I would. I'd voodoo doll their asses up, but that's also a load of bollocks. What about paranormal activity? Um, yeah, I reckon there's some form of ghost or something like, but I can't get no one haunted, can I? Horns? Haunted. Oh, have you ever been to a haunted house? Um, I think so, I'm not sure. I feel like there's a lot where you come from. Um, yeah, the patrols in like old castles and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, would you ever consider ghost hunting? Um, yeah, for a laugh. It'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? If they, if they, if you found them or if they found you? A bit of both. It'd just be hilarious. <laughs> I'd find, find that very, very funny <laughs> ghost hunting. You think, um... Me mate Ventry would love that. He loves the Ghostbusters. You think you guys would share similar, um, accents? Depends if they're scouts or not, doesn't it? Depends if they're in <laughs> Liverpool, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't reckon most of them would, though, because they'd be hundreds of years old and they'd talk like, yes, sir, and all stuff like that. What? They'd talk like of Game of Thrones. Ah, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. What about, like, um, like defending the North the north Wall? Is that something you would ever consider? If it was real, yeah, it'd be sick, you know what I mean? Jon Snow's a G. I feel like you would be, you would, you would be a good Game of Thrones guy if it was real. Yeah. Defo. With the blonde hair though, I'd probably be a Lannister and there. Ah, f though, it's a bit heavy. Dude, I feel like, um, yo, you would be you a Lannister. That's that seriously look going on there, actually, with the wig on, haven't you? Shame! <laughs> Shame! <laughs> okay, what is better, Geordie Shore or Jersey Shore? None of them, they're both s. <laughs> but, um, I watched you. Uh, Jersey Shore when I was a kid because I was about 11, you know what I mean? But, mm -hmm. yeah, they're both s. I, okay, I was in London for about a month and I would fall asleep to Geordie Shore every night and I started dreaming in their accent. Yeah, the Geordie accents are belts alike. I like Geordies, me. Geordies are funny. <laughs> but they have a lot of personality and character. I yeah, like them they too. They're, they seem like a lot of fun. The vet, they are very they fun, like a lot of fun and they're the hilarious people. If Tony throws sand at you, are you prepared to retaliate and how? I'll have to throw sand at him first, don't I? <laughs> or use I me sorcery and cast a spell on him. I think the sorcery is the best way yeah. to retaliate. Pretend like I'm a wizard and just... That's the greatest answer we could have given. <laughs> um, we have something in common. Uh, Tony blocked me too. It's, it's mad, isn't it? I don't know why. And it's funny that video I put up on my socials. The amount of people would have commented on it. He blocked me too, he blocked me too. He blocked why me. Why are you so sensitive, Tony? Come on, lad. I don't know. I asked him, he said to me one time, um, uh, never take your ice off the stick and never let your meat loaf. That just doesn't make any sense okay, at all. Okay, exactly. So I asked him, I said, Tony, what do you mean by that? And he said, it's not for you to understand. And I said, well, why did you say it to me? And he was like, because you're not a man. And I'm like, so why would you say it to me? And he got upset. He's like, you won't understand. You're a woman. It's not meant for you. And I said, but what is a, <laughs> what happens when you're meatloafs? What does that mean? And he walked away. As far as I'm concerned, meatloafs me. an American food and an American artist years ago. Mm -hmm. That's I, all as I know. Yeah, um, do you think if you took a meatloaf and you put it into a ball, it's the same ingredients as a meatball? Nah. Okay. I don't. What's your favorite movie? 
can't hit me with one of them. I, I love I love films, so I couldn't pick one. You know what I mean? Maybe just like a handful. I love me mob movies. You know what I mean? Goodfellas, Once Upon a Time in America, The Godfather Part One and Two. Bronx Tale. Bronx Tales up there as well. But I, I love all types of films. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Training Day. Training Day is good. I think it's a little bit overrated though. The way everyone goes on. You know what I mean? Okay. I love films like The Dark Knight, um, The Prestige. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is the best series ever made up until like season six, and then them two assholes who made it absolutely ruined it to go and make Star Wars. What is it? D and D. Pair of bellends. It's a good documentary. I wish it was a documentary. <laughs> the world would have been fucking eventful if that's a documentary, mate. <laughs> you know, my okay. One of my favorite movies, not that you asked, but I'm gonna tell you, was The Matrix. That's my favorite movie. Um, but then, the th- three and f- two, three and four are just not good. That happens with a lot of films, though. You know what I mean? A lot of films. The first one's unbelievable, and then they just milk it with two, three, four, and they ruin the whole. There's too much milking, yeah. man. There's too much. Like even The Godfather Part Three. That's a bad film, but that was never meant to be called The Godfather Part Three. They wanted it to be called The Death of Michael Corleone, mm-hmm. but the film studio wanted it to be called Godfather Part Three, so it got more views, more sales. Mm-hmm. Um, do you like Tropic Thunder? Yeah. It's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> That's a brilliant film. I'd <laughs> say a line out of it, but I'll probably get cancelled. Never go full. Uh, <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Never go full. Re- it's the best movie ever created. Yeah, it's hilarious. It's the best movie. wouldn't be able to make that film now, though. No, you wouldn't. No. Just like The Office. You wouldn't be able to make The Office you now either. You wouldn't be either. able to make a lot of films nowadays. Man, that's you wouldn't the be greatest. able to make, like, Borat or anything like no. that. No. Man, Borat's so good. Yeah. So good, but now so that would good. not be allowed to get made. Cancel culture's too high. What's your favourite dish? You've seen me. I was a camp girl. You know what I mean? I can't pick one food. I mm-hmm. love all sorts of food. I love Thai food, Chinese food, Italian food, mm-hmm. fast food. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? There's all of them. Loads of food I like. But um, what is it? I think Indian food's overrated though, like curries and stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay, I like Indian food, but I, I like my it, body... but I think it's overrated. My wife absolutely loves it. It's good. I I enjoy Indian food. I I think it touches all the palates. Um, but the but next I, day when the it's coming day... out the other end. Yeah, Jeez. or like out of your. Uh, sometimes I, I smell it on me. Oh yeah, if you can smell it coming out your pores. Out of my pores, yeah. yeah. I used to do a lot of yoga, and when I used to eat a lot of Indian food and do a lot of yoga, I, and I smelled like curry all the time. <laughs> it didn't matter what I did, I smelled like curry all the time. Oh, do you see any uh, UFO sightings in Liverpool? Well, uh, my boxing coach, Chris. Mm-hmm. is always looking at the sky lately and is always videoing stuff saying that's a UFO, that's a UFO, sending it to me. So I'll say, yeah, there's UFO sightings in a, in Liverpool. That's a Chris Williams special, that. Do you... Um, OK, let's just say we're, like, in an alien invasion. Uh, who are three fighters you would like to be on your team? Um, I'm going to have to pick big members, aren't I? John Jones, mm. Sean Strickland... And who else? Alex Pereira. Three big fellas who are ready. Good team. I know John Jones and Sean Strickland are good with some firearms as well. You know what I mean? And then you've got Paul Tan who's good with an arrow. Oh, yeah, you got all different types of um, homicidal Maniacs equi- mani- right there. Yep, yep. Yeah. There we go. That's good. Three uh, champs as well, thinking about a heavyweight like heavy true. middle. And you had middle and you have a double champ in there too you have two double champs in there yeah you do yeah see, see pick the heaviest top three there haven't i and one that loves guns yeah if you were an animal what animal would you be a dog or a monkey okay Cause dogs are the best but be sick being a monkey just climbing a tree saying that i'd probably be a sloth knowing me just sitting there based up eating a dog a monkey or a sloth i had to get sent that by the way like because of me hair people always send me pictures of sloths they're gonna look like a sloth you know i thought i had some intel on sloths but i don't (laughs) i thought maybe i knew more about them than i do and i realized uh, i don't i just have one video playing in my head of a sloth trying to cross the a road (laughs) and then a tourist picked him up and put him on the other side because he was never going to make it i kept getting tagged in a photo of a lion as well actually remember that kept getting tagged in a photo of a lion because he had a similar hairdo. Probably be able to find that, the amount of people would tag me in it. Um, I get a lot of people tag me in photos of the hyena from The Lion King. <laughs> the one with the googly eyes. <laughs> I was going to say, what animal would you be? Um, if I was an animal, I would be uh, probably like a, like a raptor. 
Nice. Thanks. Can you do an American accent? Um, I'll probably try and do one now and sound Australian or something. What's what's something proper American that you can say? What's good, homie? Uh, so I think it's something Blaze says. I kind of think. When he started screaming, the other, we went to the mob museum the other day and he started screaming, It's the police! Get the f*** down! Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Sit your ass on the f ground now, boy! I'm scared for my life. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, was, that was really good. When I, when I can get into it, I'm all right with it, but once I've done it before, I tried to do an Irish accent and sounded like an Australian. Good day, mate. You know what I mean? It still sounds like you. But the English policeman, the, the American police officer, was a really good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, quick game of would you rather. Uh, would you rather onions or peppers? Neither. Okay. Uh, 9,000 lunges or an unpaid interview with Ariel Hawani? <laughs> <laughs> 9,000 lunges. <laughs> uh, would you rather shave your head or squeeze lemon juice in your eyes every day for a week? Ooh. Squeeze lemon juice in my eyes every day. Have you ever done that? No, but I'm never cutting my hair. You know I mean, I'd look like fucking... <laughs> Look like the kid out of there, the boy in the side pajamas. If I shave my head, where's Waldo? Huh. Oh, oh, it's, it's a, a movie. It's a film, yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> cool. Um, okay, what is if you don't like it, leg it mean? If you don't what? If you don't like it, leg it. If you don't like it, f off. that's what leg it means. Yeah, like it basically means f without swearing. Oh, I like it, leg it. I don't like it. If you don't like it, leg it. Got it. Okay, I'm doing this uh, compilation where fighters have to say something nice about their opponent. So do you have anything nice to say about your yeah, opponent? I've also I've done is say nice things about Tony, you know what I mean? He's an absolute legend of the sport, especially our division. He's one of the best fighters ever to come out the lightweight division, you know what I mean? It's an honor to get in the cage and share the cage with him. I've been watching him since I was like 15, 16, since I started doing MMA. So the fact that I get to get in there with someone I looked up to so many years ago and actually fight them it's unbelievable you know even everyone's commenting on me stuff oh we want tony to win and ride off into the sunset even i want tony to win his last fight and but he's not doing it at my my expense so mm -hmm. he's gonna have to beat his next opponent too bad you can't see what he's up to because he blocked you mm, tell me about it you know what i mean it's a good job some of the lads can still see his shit in it he blocked me like he does on that thing no he blocked me and i've seen that thing he does where he's on the sticks blocking shit you know what I mean? <laughs> Block me like that. It's blades and shades. Yeah. If Tony could be any animal, I think he'd be a bear. I don't know, just a thought. Um, on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate this fighter? He's very good, like so. An eight. An eight. Yeah. Okay. Um, on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate yourself as a fighter? A ten, because I believe in myself that much. Any fighter that doesn't say a ten, you're in the wrong sport. Go and play for <laughs> dodgeball. Yeah, go play dodgeball. <laughs> um, do you think other fighters would feel the same? No. Other well, fighters would probably rate me a two or something, you know what I mean? But they all hate it's one of them. Yeah, if you don't like it, leg it. I'd say if you don't like it, leg it. Leg it. <laughs> that wasn't a bad accent. That wasn't a bad accent. <laughs> my accent's horrible. Okay, everyone. Well, thank you so much for watching my interview with... Paddy the Baddy Pimler. Get on the fucking ground, you... Is that what she said? <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> Something like that, yeah?